Guys, I'm gonna make a fun video every weekend. It's gonna be about killer whales sometimes, maybe mountain lions, cougars. I'll have some fun stories in there about working with exotics. Won't be about dogs. So hit the subscribe button in order to not miss it. About six months ago, I made a video of me swimming with killer whales and it got a lot of good feedback on YouTube. Um, and I just saw one comment today from Pens, and I'm gonna answer this question today. It said, very interesting. Could you please bring, make more videos about SeaWorld or whale trainers? I mean, do you, did you work with Don or Ken Peters? And what's your opinion about Blackfish? So as a whale trainer, any whale trainer, current or past, you're constantly asked about the movie Blackfish. So I'm gonna talk about that today. And yes, I knew Don very well and I knew and know Ken very well. They were both uh, good friends of mine. So here's what I'm gonna say about Don. She's the trainer that died in Orlando years ago. Don was maybe the most impressive person I've ever been around. And anybody that knows Don is gonna say that exact thing. No one's gonna say something different. Everybody was kind of in awe of Dawn and loved Dawn. And that's not, whenever I see somebody pass away, people come out and say they were a great person. There's occasionally a person that passes away and what people say about that person, you just believe. I saw a video the other day of people talking about Chris Farley and when he died. And they were like, he was the most amazing person I've ever met. And that's how everyone felt about Dawn. Um, so, I'm not gonna get into anything else. I'm just gonna tell you that she genuinely was one of the most amazing people I've ever met, if not the most amazing person I've ever met. And my one regret in life, or one of few regrets I have in life, was right before I left Sea World Orlando, I thought Dawn was kind of pushing people too hard. And I was below her, significantly uh, below her. And her and I got into an argument. And I told her what I thought, and she dealt with it well. And I felt all good about myself. Like I'd stood up to one of the bosses and told them that I thought that what they were doing was wrong. And then months later, I transferred to SeaWorld San Diego. And to this day, it's one of my biggest regrets in life because I was totally out of line. That was, she was trying to push everybody to be better. I thought she was pushing too hard. And I felt like I was standing up for some people and I said something and her and I got into an argument and our relationship was never quite the same after that. Uh, we were really close and after that we were a little less close and um, I've always regretted that. I was totally out of line um, about a month after. It wasn't when she died that I realized I was out of line after I transferred back to San Diego and, and got sort of up higher. You know, and be I became a senior trainer like she was when I did that, when I said that to her. Um, I realized that now you're managing people and you need to do things. So that was not um, really not cool on my part. And I always felt bad about that. So Ken Peters, Ken's an awesome guy. Ken is the guy who got taken down um, at SeaWorld San Diego and held under for a minute and a half. I was not there that day. My wife, I was off. My wife was there. My wife was one of the first ones to um, slap the water, which is a recall for the whale to return because she realized something was going wrong. Um, here's, I was not there. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the details of it. Um, but uh, we went to his hotel room that night. Me and a couple other trainers went to visit him. Um, and Ken was the perfect guy for that to happen to. I mean, it's unfortunate, but he was the perfect guy. Who watching this could hold their breath for almost two minutes while being in a situation like that and being out of breath and then hold your breath for almost two minutes underwater? He dealt with that so perfectly. It was, om it was amazing. And he's an awesome guy as well. Um, but he was the, you know, uh, that, would have, that would have done much more damage to 95% uh, of the other killer whale trainers in the world. So Ken's a great guy. Um, here's my opinion about Blackfish. Blackfish, the movie, came out years ago. Um, I, I'm not gonna re-watch that movie in order to do this video. I'm gonna give you what I remember most when I first watched it, and I think I've probably seen it one other time since then. So here's the deal. The first thing is, 
There's all these trainers that come up in that video and you see interviews with these trainers. Well, I've worked at both parks. I worked at SeaWorld, one of the few people that worked at Orlando with the whales and San Diego with the whales. And you hear about trainers, all the good trainers, you'll hear stories and people still talk about them and it's, it's kind of a, a, a place like that where you hear about the good ones, right? I know guys from 20 years ago, I, I know their names because I heard about them. I have these trainers on that show, I've never heard, I didn't hear once about any of them. I don't know who these people were. Again, I worked at both parks. I knew most trainers or heard of most trainers from the last 10 years before I worked there. I've never heard of these people. I don't know who these trainers were. Um, so that was number one. I was like, who are these people talking, talking about this? Now, the part with the kind of old gristled guy who's like talking about capturing whales and babies in the wild, yeah, no, it's not, it's not good. Uh, nobody advocates catching wild killer whales anymore. It was done many years ago and it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Now, the other thing I'll say, cause I'm not gonna just go on about every detail of this show, um, of which I don't remember every detail, but the other thing is like, like, there's, there's a lot of people who, who I, I even heard someone at a park be like walking by me and they were like, the kid said, can we go to SeaWorld? And she's like, oh no, we don't go to SeaWorld. That's a bad place or something. Something like that. They were walking by me, I remember this. What did people think was, did they not know that there's pools in those ever? Did people watch that show and go, oh, they, these animals are in pools? Like, did they not know what was there? Like, did they think there was a tunnel that went to the ocean that the, that the whales went out at night and came back? Like, it's not even that, I'm not even saying it's bad that they're in pools, but what did they think was, they didn't know they were in pools? Like, was everyone surprised when I saw blackfish and like, oh, wow, who knows these whales were in, in pools and in tanks? Like, well, there wasn't that much kind of new stuff. There wasn't something, it was just a dramatic thing that, that and it wasn't really that, um, it wasn't really that wrong. Like there wasn't many inaccuracies in it. Like whale trainers, my friends, and they're all like, it's all fake. And I'm like, it's not really all fake. It's, I mean, it's got an agenda obviously, but it's not fake. They don't give any fake stuff, but it's, it's just, it's all, it's all drama, right? And it's just, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a lot of opinions on it, except that these whales were taken care of so well. The whales still are taken care of so well. Here's the thing about captivity. The wild is a brutal, brutal place, okay? They want animals to be wild. The wild's horrible. They talk about rake marks on baby whales. Have you ever seen a, a baby killer whale in the wild? It's got rake marks all over its body. They think that's something that happens at SeaWorld. Happens, go Google baby killer whales. If, if you're fortunate enough to see a video, they're raked all over their body. Rake is where the teeth rake the babies. Happens in captivity, happens in the wild. So, you know, watch this stuff with a grain of salt. The other thing is like, people enjoy, <clears throat> kids enjoy SeaWorld. The happiest I've ever seen kids in my entire life was my first day at SeaWorld Orlando. I had never even been to a SeaWorld show in my life and I was working there now. You have nothing to do when you're a new trainer during a show, because you don't know anything. So they sent me to the sound booth to watch the show. It was July in Orlando, it was probably 100 degrees. There's kids all around, all in the stadium, packed stadium, 6,000 people probably. Whale comes out and fluke splashes the whole 14 bottom 10 rows. All I saw was arms and kids screaming. It was probably to this day the happiest I've ever seen children a group of children. They don't, they like animals more than kids, right? The, the people like, some people like animals more than kids. You can't discount how much pleasure that uh, SeaWorld and other places bring children, bring humans, right? SeaWorld's not this terrible place. They bring people a lot of joy. And that's important, especially now. I see a lot of unhappy people in this world. So that's all I'll say. Um, that's, that's to answer Penn's question about Don 
peat and uh, and uh, blackfish.